if you have followed my channel for a while, especially some years, then you would know that I talk about uh, a lot of subjects that we all deal with from day to day, common everyday subject matter. And uh, as it relates to martial arts in this particular episode, if you will, I just want to briefly touch on a knife, a deadly weapon, uh, and even a gun, briefly, and what I call karate from my desk. Understand this, if you are a person that's very anxious about learning combat skills, martial arts skills, self-defense skills, you need to wrap your brain around the fact that sometimes you'll learn verbally. Everything is not always done physically and uh, hands-on. Some things are designed to get you to think. Yes, to get you to think, to use that gray matter in between your ears to think. And it's not always going to be dynamic. You're not going to always see flip strolls and arm locks and uh, maneuvers and fancy kicks and so forth. If you're really looking for martial arts and martial science and to understand it the way it was intended to be actually applied. Now in this particular section or session I want to just talk to you for a moment about a person who has an extension to their body or their arm in this particular one, namely a knife. Knives, as we all know, are dangerous, can be dangerous, when used irresponsibly. And as it relates to fighting, when a person is trying to harm you with a knife, it can be fatal. So, from a self-defense standpoint, how do you handle an individual who has a knife? I've seen many videos, I've heard it said, and I've seen instructors talk about disarming someone with a knife. First, let's understand this. Never think that you're superhuman. Always remember that you are a human being and that you can be injured. Irrespective of what martial arts style or system that you study, you can be injured and even fatally injured can be killed. So, if it be a, a knife, a gun, a chain, a baton, whatever, you can be killed. Understand that when you are up against an individual that has a knife, they intend to do you harm, if not kill you. So, that knife is not a toy. So, I would not advise anyone to try and disarm a person with a knife unless you have much, much experience with that weapon and understand that you should attack the attacker. The knife does not attack you by itself. They are the weapon, not the knife. And what I mean by that is simply this. If you lie a knife down on the counter or put a gun down on the counter, by itself it can do nothing. It must have intent behind it. And that intent being the human being that's wielding it or holding it. So that is how you treat the situation with a knife. You kill the arm or whatever's holding the knife. The arm is going to be the human being of course. So if you stop the human being that's holding the knife then the battle is pretty much won. And don't forget what I said a moment ago that the knife cannot harm you by itself. It needs a willing participant, and that's the person who's wielding it. So that is my suggestion. Practice with a competent instructor. Uh, and I say that again, I reassert, practice with a competent instructor. Now understand this again, if per venture you do face an individual in confrontation with a knife, it's real. It's not fake, it's not make-believe, it's not a play, it's not a skit, it's not a movie. It's real. And it can be so real that you won't be alive to see anything else afterwards. 
So think about it. This is teacher.